Okay, how to read a graduated cylinder. We've got a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder here, and the first step we need to do is determine where our marks lie. We have a numbered mark of 8 here, and we have a numbered mark of 9. We have unnumbered marks between 8 and 9 valued at 0.1. In order to go from 8 to 9, we would go 8.1, 8.2, etc., up to 9. So, we know for certain that this liquid has a volume somewhere between 8.5 and 8.6. The last digit we record is our estimated digit, or uncertain digit. How far between 8.5 and 8.6 does this measurement lie? To determine that, you want to get your eye at the level of the meniscus, which is the bottom of the curved surface, and you need, as the scientist, as the observer, you need to determine how far between 8.5 and 8.6 the bottom of the meniscus lies. I'm going to estimate it to be 8.5 six.